Half a century ago, disputes between Hindus and Muslims caused thousands of deaths and led directly to the divisions resulting in the partition of India and Pakistan. In December 1992, fresh riots broke out in northern India at Ayodhya over a disputed mosque, the Babli Masjid, claimed by Hindus as the birthplace of their god, Lord Ram. Hindu activists destroyed the Muslim mosque and communal riots broke out all over the subcontinent leaving hundreds dead. It was television pictures of scenes from Ayodhya that provoked Taslima Nazreen's book, Lodger. Set in her homeland, Bangladesh, formerly East Pakistan, the book tells the story of a Hindu family living in fear of repercussions from the Muslim majority. The daughter is eventually abducted by a Muslim gang and in revenge, her brother, Suranjan, rapes a Muslim girl, hence the title, Shame. On television, CNN had shown vivid scenes of the devastation of Babri Masjid. Suranjan had never been to Ayutthaya. He had not seen the Babri Masjid. How could he have when he had not even stepped out of Bangladesh? But it was very evident that the demolition of the 16th century mosque had struck a savage blow to the sentiments of Muslims in India and elsewhere. In Bangladesh, the reaction to this event would create frantic waves of religious hysteria. Temples would be smashed and leveled to the ground, Hindu homes would be burned and the shops would be looted. <laughs> সেটা এখানে সংখ্যালঘুদের উপর সংখ্যাগুরুর যে নির্যাতনের বর্ণনা দিয়েছি তা ঘটেছিল নাইনটি টু ডিসেম্বরে তো এটা কারো ধর্মীয় অনুভূতিতে আঘাত আঘাত দেওয়া হয়নি আর একজন লেখক কারো ধর্মীয় অনুভূতিতে আঘাত লাগবে সেটার চেয়ে সত্য যেটা ঘটছে সেটা কল্যাণের জন্যই সে লিখছে বা আমি যেটা লিখেছি তা মানব কল্যাণের জন্যই লিখেছি সেটা আমি মনে করি তসলিমাস বুকস আর নট অ্যান্টি ইসলামিক ইন দ্য সেন্স দ্যাট সালমান রুজিস বুক ইজ অ্যালেজ টু বি তসলিমা ইজ এ ফেমিনিস্ট অ্যান্ড শি আর্গিউজ অ্যান্ড স্পিকস অ্যাবাউট দ্য হ্যারাসমেন্ট উইমেন ফেসেস রেসপেক্টিভ of the religion or irrespective of the nations to which they belong. She is as much vitriolic about the treatment of women in Hindu India as she is about the treatment of women in her own country. There is no specific religious order. It's a gender war. Two years ago in Calcutta, Taslima Nazreen received a prestigious literary award for her book, Selected Columns, a series of articles on feminist issues. 32-year-old Nazreen grew up in a strict Muslim family. She trained as a doctor, has been married three times, and her militant feminist writing has made her famous. Her sometimes explicit and some say obscene works have caused outrage. Lodger's mix of sex and religion has brought Taslima Nazreen a death sentence for blasphemy, a so-called fatwa from a group of Islamic fundamentalists who have put a price of 50,000 taka, or about 850 pounds, on her head. A series of supportive articles has appeared in the world's press. In January 1993, her passport was confiscated at Dakar airport on a technicality. Since then, she's largely remained in her flat afraid to go out until after dark and protected at her own request by government guards. This book, as you know, uh, it's become very famous or infamous, however you put it, because she has dealt with the anti-Hindu backlash in uh, predominantly Muslim society in Bangladesh uh, following the Babri Masjid demolition. And this is why it was banned, actually. But she's also brought out certain feminist aspects you know, about women, because they are subject to a society 
uh, or a social and a religious system which enslave women or make them objects of lust and greed and treat them as commodities only. So this is what she's tried to project mainly. In the subcontinent, we are still quite feudal in our attitude. A woman's physical chastity is a matter of protection and it has to be protected by the family. So the best way to dishonor a family is to go for the women. That is why we have found that um, upper caste landlords rape lower caste women who are working for them. In the police station, you find the police raping women who, have, who are in their custody. So the same pattern has been repeated in Lodja, where Suranjan can't get at his Muslim tormentor, so he goes for the woman. Suranjan, however, did not look upon Shamima as a whole. To him, she was a Muslim girl. He was longing to rape a Muslim girl upon whom he was going to avenge himself. He threw the girl on the floor and stripped her of all her clothes. Suranjan took quick, deep breaths as he dug his nails into the girl's flesh. The girl was only a prostitute after all. As Suranjan attacked her naked body, the girl moaned with pain, screaming occasionally, Oh my God, I'm dying of pain. Suranjan laughed with a savage satisfaction. He continued to hurt her till he could do no more. And then he raped her. In Calcutta, just across the border, where the Indian edition was published, Nazreen's case has been taken up by writers and intellectuals. Tell me something, do you really think that Tasma Nazreen and Salman Nazreen can be bracketed? Tell me, tell me what you really think that these two names can go side by side? Why not? Why? Only Are that they equal uh, writers of equal status? Only that the price on the head of uh, Salman Rushdie is much, much, much more. I see. So his writing is uh, as good as uh, she writes as well as he does. But uh, Tasnima, you think that uh, Tasnima would have been? Tasnima uh, is a young writer. Her language is very strong. I, I think someday she might be more powerful writer than Tasnima Rushdie and others. Why not? Well, that's wonderful. She's I do not agree. I don't think she writes well. I think she. The Bangladeshi version of Lodja was written in a great hurry and is only 69 pages long. For the Indian edition, Nazreen has extensively rewritten her book, adding material that details the alleged persecution of Hindus in Bangladesh. <laughs> To the consternation of Nazreen's supporters, this edition found many fans in the BJP, the militant Hindu nationalist party. You know, selectively, you can use Lodja for communal propaganda. Uh, BJP has done it blatantly. I mean, you know, we have what is called latent communalism. And especially all the Hindus who were forced to leave their homeland have never forgiven the Muslims for being hounded out. And for them, you know, Lodja has become very handy because the BJP propaganda is that the minorities are in very poor shape in Bangladesh. The whole novel has come out in pirated editions and it has been sold in local trains, sent out to book fairs, where it became a bestseller. So Lodja has somehow legitimized BJP's communal propaganda because written by a Muslim and it was distributed free at their, maybe not the entire book, but except and they did not even seek the permission of the writer. Taslima Nasrin is one person who has been instrumental in exposing certain things which had until now not come to light. What I'm talking about is the persecution of minorities. 
Hindus and Buddhists in present-day Bangladesh and erstwhile East Bengal. The uh, BJP Bharatiya Janta Party is the only party in India which has highlighted this thing. And all the other parties, including parties which have a very strong representation of uh, emigres from erstwhile East Bengal, have fought shy of the problem because they thought that any uh, emphasis on this would alienate the Muslim vote in India. BJP has never been afraid of this thing, and BJP has always projected this. This is why we champion Tasliba Nasri. BJP jeta kore chhe, cheta BJP ami bolbo osh hota ta. Karon ami BJP pokhe ekdi line ho lajai likhi ni. Ami dhormiyo molovadi goshti she Musliman ho, she Hindu ho, ami prati baat kore chhi tadesh shomalo chuna kore chhi. BJP lajani khaja tulte dekhe cheta ami shune chhi. As a novel, I don't rate it to be a very high-class one, but you know the contents is very, 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 very courageous of a girl of her age to have said the things which in India now the political leaders will dare say. She is stirring the mentality of a lot of Indian and uh, Bangladeshi women in the sense that we are beginning to feel that why shouldn't we go ahead in whatever way possible. We are not supposed to just take it lying down. All we have is a simple girl who merely has certain points of view with which I do not necessarily agree. But then in a democracy, she has as much right to her views as you and I have. And uh, those of us who have been brought up in, in a British liberal traditions, they can't believe that the, either the Islam as a religion or the Bangladesh as a society is so fragile that some words, some little prose by a little girl is going to see the end of the edifice. Taslima Nazreen's passport still has not been returned and she remains under guard at her home in Dakar.